everyone, how do you feel today? I hope you are in a good condition and always be blessed by God. My name is Isidora Pascalia and I'm the student of Superior Still Senior High School. Today, I'm going to tell you one of the readings from the Bible that has the title, A Wise Ruling. From 1 Kings chapter 3 in verses number 16 until 28. Well, let's start it. Now, two prostitutes came to the king Solomon and stood before him. One of them said, Pardon me, my lord. This woman and I live in the same house, and I had a baby while she was there with me. The third day after my child was born, this woman also had a baby. We were alone. There was no one else in the house but the two of us. During the night, this woman's son died because he lay on him. So she got up in the middle of the night and took my son from my side while I, your sibling, was a slave. She put him by her arms and brought that son by my arms. The next morning, I got up to nurse my son and he was dead. But when I looked at him closely in the morning light, I saw that it wasn't my son. But the other one said, no, the living one is mine, the dead one is yours. But the first one insisted, No, the dead one is yours, the living one is mine. And so they argued before the king Solomon. The problem was that there was no one else in the house except for the two women. After that, the king said, This one says, my son is alive and your son is dead. Well, that one says, your son is dead and mine is mine. Bring me a sword. So they brought a sword for the king. After that, the king gave an order. Cut the living child in two, and give half to one, and half to the other. The woman, whose son was alive, was deeply moved out of love for her son, and said to the king, Please, Lord, give her the living baby. Don't kill him. But the other woman said, Neither I nor you shall have him. Cut him in two. Then the king gave his ruling. Give the living child to the first woman. Do not kill him. She is his mother. When all Israel heard the verdict the king had given, they held the king in awe because they saw that he had wisdom from God to administer justice. Well, from this passage of scripture, we saw that Solomon didn't consult the law in making his decision. By grace, he gets it right. If we listen to the voice of Jesus, we will definitely make the right decision. Furthermore, if we look closely, the problem itself begins with the envy of a woman towards another woman because of the baby she has. However, Jesus was present in the woman who was the real mother of the baby. So compassion and self-sacrifice move her to keep the baby alive. So, from this, we learn not to be jealous of others and always present God in our life. I 
think that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've all learned something new from it and enjoyed it. Have a nice day. See you! Oh, 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 oh,